Alright. Ladies, gentlemen, my he's, my she's, my people in between. We got a new is it a new series? What am I call it? I'm trying something new today. It's basically it's the I Got Beef series. Let me explain this to you real quick. Series is basically I I take a character, anime I take an anime character, be specific. I'm trying to make this a full anime channel. Take an anime character. One that I so if anyone knows me, you know hate is a strong word when it comes to me. So I take an anime character that I hate despise, feel like, you know what, you need to catch the catch these hands and or run the fade, and, well, you will see when we get to the end of this video. I feel there's no better way to start this wonderful series than to talk about a recent character who, oh, I, I, well, how's, what's a good way to describe this weasel-faced bastard? He is a terrible human being. He just just awful. One of the worst human beings in anime. Can I say that? Yeah, one of the worst human beings in anime, period. By the way, um, there will be spoilers. There will be spoilers. There will be spoilers. You. Yeah. You are getting these now. There will be spoilers. We are talking about... Let me say this bitch nigga name correctly. Kisaki Teta from Tokyo Revengers. Ah, uh, what this nigga has done, what this nigga has done, what what he has done. So, I want me to explain what this nigga's done as to why I got beef with this nigga. Because, ooh -wee. I got my notes right here. Bear with me. Because this is going to get wild. Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. We'll get right back into this. But, um, do you know there was a Tokyo Avengers live action, a full movie? Why does nobody tell me about these things? Like, I would have been watching, I would have added clips on this, but I found this after I made the video. This is all just post-edit work. Why does no one tell me these things? Now I gotta watch this along with it. This is too much. This is too much. We gotta watch it, though. This is Nick Hisaki is a master manipulator. He is the big villain in the show, the manga, the anime, Tokyo Revengers. He, he has no respect, no regard for human life. All he cares about is some damn self. One of the most selfish anime characters you will see. You, you will see, you have seen, just in general, one of the most selfish. He will use anybody to get ahead. Whether it is the people in Toman, the people in Mobius, the people in Valhalla, people in the Black Dragons, the people in the Tenjuku, and even people who aren't in any, any gangs over there. He will use them to get ahead to reach his end goal. What is his end goal? It kind of gets wishy-washy. At first, it was like me and Mikey will take over the take over the Japanese underground. That didn't happen. Well, now I gotta kill Mikey. Well, that didn't happen. And there's another and there's another thing that we'll get to, which uh, another reason why I got beef with this nigga. If anyone knows doesn't know about Tokyo Avengers, there is is a time travel anime that involves Japanese gangs. So in and in the future, in many of the futures. Kisaki is the reason one of the main characters, Mikey, becomes a cold-blooded killer. A cold, there's a cold-hearted bastard, which um, if y'all keep re if I read the manga, if the manga keeps going in a direction that it's going, I may put a video out this on Mikey because Mikey is slowly but surely pissing me off with the decisions he is making in this manga. But we know the one of the reasons that Mikey went this way is because of Kisaki. But let's start, let's start from the top. From the top, from the top, he's the reason that the main character's ex-girlfriend from the past is dead. That's in the first five minutes, you see good old fashioned truck coon done, done caught himself a body. One of many. 
the only people who got more buys than him is some gang members. In, no, I'm not gonna go there. I've watched. I've watched. Too, I'm watching too much gang affiliated videos. I've gotten addicted. We you know he has made multiple attempts at murder, accessory to murder, um, general crimes against humanity. Oh, mainly against Takamichi, who is the main character. Why? Again, we'll get to that. We don't see much of him. Besides that, him walking by and a picture of what he looks like. Don't see much of him. But we do know, at least when you get to other stuff, what he's done at this point in time. In the first trip back in time, he is responsible for... Bear with me here. A random nigga getting jumped. His girl getting hard R'd. If you, if you know what I'm, if you know what I'm talking about. The dude who got jumped. His mother, his father, and his siblings get beat up and robbed. That trickles down into Toman saying, "Okay, we gotta we gotta fight because that nigga who got jumped was friends with a nigga in Toman." So like, okay, now we gotta go find these niggas and kick their ass. And then they end up getting jumped by Mobius, who's the niggas behind it. Which then, res in, which then resulted in Pa getting arrested for stabbing said nigga. Which then trickled down into Draken dying because he got stabbed in a fight. Which then trickles down to Kisaki rising in power saying, Don't worry, Mikey. I'll lead you through this dark, these dark times. And he becomes second in charge. And then that's how... That's, well, that's what was supposed to happen. That's everything that was supposed to happen until Takamichi changed the timeline. Yeah, get used to that. That's gonna that's gonna happen a lot. Basically, what happened is right when he thinks, okay, all the players going together, Pa gets Pa stabs nigga, Pa goes to jail. That's good. Um, Dragon's supposed to get stabbed and dies. Well, guess what? Takamichi said, nah, we ain't doing that. He rides the troops, saves Dragon. Um, there's a big fight. Tries to carry Dragon, chokes the nigga out. All good. Talking to you say today. Goes back to the future. Cool. Hinata's here. And if anyone... I'd, I'd like to take a sidetrack to remind everybody that the Reels Nigga Award from last year, 2021, went to Tachibana Hinata. Reels Nigga Award. He goes back... Talking to you goes back to the future. He thinks everything's saved. And then... He runs into a nigga named Hanma in the future, who we ran to in the past, but we're going to skip by that because... She was irrelevant besides that fight. Rest of the past. Han was like, wait, you ain't in the car? No, I ain't in the car. I mean, my girl in the car, but I ain't in the car. Huh. And I was hoping to kill both y'all. What do you mean hoping to kill both of us? Bang! He gets, he not gets died again. In an attempt to kill both of them, he not to dies, gets blown up. Takamichi's like, God damn it. Now I go back to the past again. By the way, yeah, I did. Um, when when doing research for this, I had to go back and see everything that happened. As in, I had to read the manga and watch anime to make sure I got my facts straight. I did, in fact, in both time, in both written and visual, skipped out on that truck scene because I did not want to cry a second time and a third time because that, that hurt. Anyway, back in the past, he's like, okay, we need to stop Kisaki from getting the rule. We need to stop, we need to stop Kisaki. He's the he's the main reason that everything is going to shit. So then back in the past, Kisaki becomes a, the third commander after Pa, who was the original third commander, again, got arrested. And it is revealed that there's a new faction, Hanma, is leading Valhalla. But, there's a but. The secret leader behind Valhalla is Kisaki. Their plan was to have a big ass fight between Toman and Valhalla on Bloody Halloween. It says it right here. I gotta pay attention to my notes. Bloody Halloween. Toman was gonna Valhalla. Toman was going to lose to Valhalla, meaning, and in the loss, Maki was going to kill his former friend. I forgot that nigga name. This nigga. He was going to kill him. Sending him down a dark path. To which. Mike. Not to which. Kasaki will put his arm around his shoulder. Again. Say. 
the work, bro. I'll walk through this dark path. They'll rise to the top with Draken going to jail for killing a bunch of niggas and everyone else dying. And then Takamichi changed the timeline again. Basically what happened is Ta Kisaki tried to fool everybody into staging a rescue of Mikey during Bloody Halloween when this nigga Kazutoro, there's his name, Kazutoro, Kazutora was jumping this nigga and Mikey was fighting back but then he was losing blood and Kazutoro was going to kill him. But then, but then, right as he's saving the day, he's like, yo, I will protect Mikey while y'all handle the fight down there. This nigga body comes back and steals this nigga. <laughs> gets his, he gets his shit rocked. Which, um, ooh, by the way, let's, let's rewind it back for a second. This is not the first time he got shit rocked. Because when he first gets, when he first becomes the third commander of Toman, Takamichi, who, y'all need to put some, a little more respect on Takamichi's name. Yes, this nigga cries a lot. But he be winning fights when they're one-on-one. He's only, I think, I think he, he has a pretty decent record when it comes to one-on-one -on -one fights. The problem is this nigga keeps getting jumped. He beat the one nigga that was, that stabbed Draken, beat him, and then he got jumped. He, like I said, damn near, he punched Kisaki so hard his glasses flew into the next scene. And then he got jumped by Baji. And even, and in the bloody Halloween fight, he drops a nigga, then gets jumped. Baji Beating Kisagi ass. He's about to kill this nigga. Until uh, he passed off from a stab wound. Because Kazutora. Yeah, him again. Who was ordered by Hanma. To stab Baji. Because he's like, yo. That nigga Baji. Who, mind you, was a part of Tomen. But switched to Valhalla. That nigga ba Baji is a double agent. We need to get him out the game right now. And Kazutora's like, man. But that used to be my rider. That used to be my homie. Stab. All right. Moving on. He basically... Then, Kisaki gaslit Mikey to kill Kazutora because, again, Kazutora just stabbed and might have killed Baji. Until so Baji decided, nah, bruh. Kazutora, Mikey, this, is, this wasn't your fault. It was my fault. I'm the one who did all this. Mikey, I'm sorry we killed your brother. I was there. I'm sorry. So then he stabs himself. Baji dies. Mikey doesn't kill Kazutora. The timeline has changed. Except he, Kisaki still got what he wanted. Mind you, the original plan was Valhalla to beat Tomen. And then Tomen beat under Valhalla's rule. Blah, blah, blah. Kisaki, Kisaki and Mikey are partners. But since Tomen won, Tomen took Valhalla under Tomen. So now he still got what he wants because now they're still under the same umbrella. Now, and not only is Kisaki still a member of Tomen, but now Hanma is a member of Tomen. <sighs> so back in the future, because mind you, talking to you think, oh yeah, everything's saved, blah blah blah. Back in the future, Kisaki admits to everything we've said before. He admits to the Pa shit. The Baji shit, the Kazutora shit. My Kazutora is now in jail for 10 years because this is his second offense in like six months. No, no, not a lot. This is his second offense in a couple years because, again, he went to jail previously for killing Mikey's brother on accident, on purpose. Basically, he's, he admits to all that. Apparently, he missed all that while drilling Takamichi and Chifuyu. Apparently, what had happened was. At, when he goes after everything that just happened, time is one in the future. Mikey gone, Draken dead. The people that were in that meeting at the end of that season dead. <laughs> Everybody dead. And then Kisaki takes the bullet. Chief for you's dead. Hold thy L. Um, rest in paradise, Chief for you. And also he shot Takamichi in the foot. No, 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 not yet, not yet. He shot him in the leg. Shot him in the leg. Shafiu tells him, hey, bruh, a lot of shit that went down. Fine. Enough of all that talking. Shafiu's dead. Right as he's about to kill Takamichi. That's the season one ends. That's the season one ends. 
What a great cliffhanger. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is... There, a lot happens between that point and the manga to where we're at now. You have to use over here. Let's speed run real quick. What happens between then and now? <sighs> Check notes. First off, Kazutora, yeah, remember him. He made, He's out of jail now. He's only in, a, he was in there for like 10 years. He saves Takamichi from getting killed. It's revealed that he tricked he... It's, it's revealed that in this timeline, Kisaki... No, 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 not this one, next one. Kisaki tricks Takamichi to kill Hinata. Third, Kisaki and Hinata are technically childhood friends. Kisaki helped take down the Black Dragon and then gets fired for his troubles. Yeah! Fire! After which he creates a new game, the Tenjuku, with this nigga Izana. And that all happens in the past. Skip forward to the future, Kisaki, who at this point had faked his death. So, yeah. He kills Hinata's brother Naito, who was a police officer. But he was one of the good police officers. He's not, he's, he's one of the good police officers. And, oh, by the way, he's gonna kill, um, uh, Takamichi again. But, you know, plot armor. Whatever. He then, in the past, drive-by kills Emma, Mikey's sister, with a baseball... My, well, let me finish it. Mikey's sister, Draken's girlfriend, kills her with a bat. Drive-by on a motorcycle, batter up, ping, she's dead, dies, in Mike, dies on Mikey's back and taking her to the hospital. I, um, I, I, I should have I thugged you. I should have thugged you. That, that one hurt. Emotional damage! So then we get to the fight. And he shoots Takamichi in the foot during the Tomen versus Tenjuku fight, which is like literally right after he killed Emma. You're getting a, you're getting the point here where this nigga can't fight. He likes to use guns. Point proven. He shoots Kaz he shoots Kakucho, who is one of like Takamichi's niggas from the past, but they ain't cool now because Kakucho was cool with that nigga Izana, who. Kisaki also shot and killed him. So Izana's dead. Kamichu survived because he only got shot one time. Izana took the, took the whole clip to the chest, saving Kakucho. It's also here is revealed that the only reason Hinata kept dying in the future is because S to the I to the M to the B. Ah! It's because the nigga is sent. <laughs> That's basically what it is. He kept he he for some reason kept being able to see into the future. It's not explained how. He's able to see into the future somehow. And he's like, okay, I'm going to keep trying to get this girl Hinata to be my girlfriend. Cause apparently in the past, him and Hinata, remember, childhood friends, and he was crushing her back then, and then nigga Takamichi saved them from getting jumped. I mean, he lost because he ended up getting jumped. But he saved them. He not to fell in love with him. They end up being together in middle school, through high school, and they're supposed to get married. Kisaki couldn't handle that. He's like, okay, fine. Every time in the future, I'm going to propose to you in this same parking lot where I've killed her multiple times at this point. And each time, each time, she said no. And because each time she said no, each time, this nigga said, all right. Hey, bring the truck. And she gets killed by the truck every single time. Mind you, in the parking lot, Kisaki and Takumi, Takumiji are throwing hands. Kisaki, let me remind you, really can't fight. Because this is immediately after... He put a bullet in Takamichi's foot. So Takamichi is beating this nigga with a bullet hole in his foot. Beating this nigga. Giving him the business. Rocking his shit. Just straight losing to the... That's just, he actually does lose. He lost this fight. Which is the up team's time he's lost to Takamichi. And he's like, don't worry. I got another plan. I'm going to keep making plans. I'm going to keep... Make plans. You are going to die. He not that you're going to be mine or she dies. Mikey is going to die. Dragon is going to. He gets hit by a truck. He's he's talking in the middle of the road, saying, 
You think you think I can time travel? They, they thought he could time travel. You think I can time travel? Nigga, I'm just that smart. He gets hit by a truck. Flex. Never care so much, ran out of wood, just passed the Dutch. Your homies die, you'll never slide, it ain't adding up. Get caught with a pipe, you out same night, you fed or what? New op pack in the air, this gas or what? He'll still be alive right now if you niggas ain't gas him up. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. And really, that's it. From beginning, he, he lived and died by the truck. All in all, Kisaki is maybe the smartest dumb nigga. The simpiest of dumb... Can I say simp on YouTube? I've said it a bunch of times already. I know you can't say it on Twitch. The simp... The simpiest of all simps. He said, if I can't have her, no one can. You sure about that? Keeps losing fights. Never won a one... Never won a one-on-one -on -one fight. Kept resorting to shooting niggas. My, when, mind you, at least in this in the show, they're, they're all... In the past, they're middle schoolers. At least in this part. In the future, they're all adults. In the future, and you're an adult and you hold a gun. You got that. In middle school, how are you getting a gun? Everyone back then, they're either running to ones or they're stabbing niggas. And this nigga done caught. Okay, let me, let's let me see here. The, let me see here. The girl who got hard hard, she probably died. He was responsible for the. Supposed death of Draken, multiple times, he survived. Um, the death of Mikey, multiple times, but he survived. The death of Hinata, multiple times, but she survived. The death of Chifuyu, basically all Toman. He's killed all Toman multiple times, and they all survived multiple times. Emma, in the past. Izana, in the past. A bunch of other niggas. He is, he, he's a bitch. Keep it a buck with you, cause he the only real body he caught on purpose was Emma. He was a ringleader in the back saying, "Hey, kill him, kill him, kill him." He do he went really in the field like that. Keep it a, keep a whole hundred. He was in the back. He didn't want to get his hands dirty. Saying he he's a think smarter, not harder, which I could respect if he could actually back up anything he did. He couldn't back up. If you're a think, if you're a, if you're a think smarter instead of work harder, you should at least be able to work harder when time comes to it. And the only real, and only real body he got was a drive by with a bat when no one was paying attention. Yeah, he killed Izana, but I don't even want to count that because he first, first he tried to kill Kakusho. He tried to kill the nigga Kakusho. Shot him one time. Apparently he missed a vital wound because that nigga didn't die. Then empty the clip, was really gonna miss, but it ended up hitting Izana by accident on some murder on my mind type shit. So what he really only got two bodies? He had to drug and kill she free you. If you wanna count that one as the third one, yeah. Naito, he missed he missed a shot and killed him. Shame. So that's it that's really like two and impossible. If you think it was playing spades, he, you know, you know, he's the type of nigga to renege in spades, and when y'all call him out on it, he'll shoot you. I don't know what else to say. You. you know what? You know, what? I'm done. I'm done talking about this nigga. I'm talking about him. He's nigga a bitch, nigga a simp. He, the type of nigga to wipe his ass from the front. I don't know what. I don't know what to tell you. You know what? You know what? I'm done talking on this end. Hey, future me, explain to the people why I don't like this nigga. All of us having the same color zone. All of us wearing red and black. <laughs> but I ain't not realize it. Hey, out here coordinating with each other. We're playing coordination. Perfect for the video. All right, turn my mic up. Turn my mic up. We looking good? We looking good? My check, my check. My check. My check. Yo. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's get it going. 
Oh, look at you, Jailbird. When they let you out? Hey, wait, wait, wait. We didn't make through a lot of shit, right? We didn't make through a lot of shit. Right. Right. We, we even came with code words when we get around rats like this snitch, right? Right. So the code word for this battle is Geechee Gagi. What does that mean? Ask me, what do you mean, Willie? What does that mean, quick? Nigga, you use a bitch! Ooh. I said, nigga, you use a bitch! Top use a gun because he can't fight. Me, I'll beat your ass from Detroit to Delaware for thinking you all might. It's on sight. <clears throat> it's on sight. I will do this bitch bad. Worse than that nigga from school days. It's going to be a long trip to God, homie. But you should be used to taking that snake way. Oh. You should be used to taking that snake way. But nah, nah, nah. Nah, we got, we got to tie him up first. He about to get lynched. You know that they probably come before the fall. You know what I'm saying, Prince? You know what I'm saying, Prince. But nah, he tied down. Stomp his ass for an hour. Just cause. Willie wanted the ones. So he pounded his ass for an hour like Broly. Wait, pause. Pound his ass for an hour like Broly? Wait, pause? Hey, that was that was kinda that was kinda wild, bro. I ain't gonna hold you. That was kinda wild. I mean for you, or you, but was it wild? Was it a little wild? But back to this bitch. Punch his ribs, leave his lungs flooded. Now lock his snake ass in a freezer for thinking he cold blooded. Lock his snake ass in a freezer for thinking he cold blooded. Should I go on? Go, on. go, go. Talk to Should him. I go on? Talk, talk, to, talk to him. Shit. Talk to him. Talk your shit. Talk to him. Let him know. Cause I just came with up. With, I just came with the solution. I ruined this whole nigga legacy. Dragon Ball Evolution. Ooh. Damn. Hey, ruined, that was kind of cold. I ruined this whole hey. nigga Dragon Ball Evolution. Bro, right. you, you caused so many people to die. But how you did Hinata was just bad. You kept killing her because she rejected you? You fucking cuck. I wish it was me behind the wheel when you got hit by that fucking truck. Rand, no, 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 not yet, not yet. Who gonna help you when you bleed it? Who gonna help you ble when you bleeding out? Hanna? That bitch? He a bitch still. I will put hands on. You know what? Nah, nah. He kinda nice. We will put hands on Hanma. I promise. Give that nigga sin and punishment since he's a hands-on accomplice. He got tattoos saying punishment on his hands. He's a hands-on accomplice. Mm. Now, random. To that bitch from Shield Hero? Use a bitch too. I'm not being misogynistic because in that show they call her a bitch too. Woo! And if you know what she did in that show, you understand why she's a bitch too. So when I'm done with this nigga and I get to you, I'm gonna explain to the whole world why you a bitch. You know what? You know what? You know what? I'm I'm getting too crazy. Now let me calm down. Let me no, calm. No, no, let me calm down. No. I only I only, I only did I only did this for fun to prove I can write like that. And if you don't want a problem, then you better keep it wrapped. Come on. Hey. My nigga. You heard what the fuck you said. You said what you said. <laughs> My boy got down, got down. Nass is better rapping in Greenville. Nass is better rapping in Sisterville. <laughs> Nass is better rapping in Spartanburg. Nass is better rapping in goddamn Audi. Y'all don't want none of my boy. Y'all don't want none of my boy. Goddamn. Goddamn. Gang ain't. KOD in this bitch. Alright, I'm gonna hold you back. Cause we out.